Broker IPTV. We're here today with Debbie Connor of Equity Colorado Real Estate. She is the president-elect of the South Metro Denver Realtor Association. And welcome to the show, Debbie. Thank you. I understand you're on the MetroList Rules and Regulation Committee, so you're part of the group that sends, us, sends our letters out to us. That's correct. And there's a new status that we're talking about today mm -hmm. called pending. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, we had um, some requests from the realtors and some changes in what is going on in, in, in the um, industry today. And uh, we were finding that there were some homes that were out there that weren't truly active anymore, mm -hmm. but weren't quite under contract. Right. And you'll run into those with REO properties, the Bangone properties, and once in a while a normal listing where there's um, some gap in time uh, to where you're not truly under contract yet, but you're not available for showing anymore. Absolutely. So when is this change going to go into effect? December 21st of this year. It will go into effect, and it will be an option that you can check in MetroList. So how does this type of rule change happen? I mean, can you tell us what type of feedback or what type of input you got from the realtor community to make this happen? I can. Usually we get some complaints in, handwritten complaints or phone calls, uh, several of them as a rule, and it comes before the Metro List Rules and Regs Committee to look at to see if there's something that we can do to implement changes to reflect more correct statuses of properties that are out there. Right, so I'm a listing broker. I've mm -hmm. got an REO listing. Mm -hmm. I've received the verbal confirmation from the bank, but yet it's probably going to take two weeks to get my signed confirmation back. Is that what we're talking about here? That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Or you may have a seller that's out of town and they do, you, know, you can get a hold of them on the phone, but you can't get to a fax machine or email, but you've got verbal okay that that's the price that they're willing to accept and terms they're willing to oh, accept. Excellent example. So does this in any way affect what we've got as far as the short sale listings and the new status change that we have there? Is this, can we use this in short sales? Or? No, that's a different ballgame. Short sales have their own rules and regulations, and short sales are dealt with in the terms section of uh, MetroList. So you can go in and check the box for short mm -hmm. sale, or if you have a contract and you're just waiting for that lender to approve the short sale, there's the short sale pending uh, letter notification that you can check in that box and you can actually search on those terms so if your buyer wants a short sale you can find them in the computer much more quickly or if they don't want a short sale you can eliminate those out of the computer and, and your search as well so what would happen then I have it under pending status I finally get the contract in, then how do I, what do I do then? How do I change it to just go to the under contract status then? Go to the under contract status. Once you have a fully under contract, fully executed contract, but you would want to put it under contract. And then don't forget to change the status once you close it and put it under sold. Wow. Well, lots of great information, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll look forward to using that pending status. I've actually got a property I can use that on right now. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Find more real estate videos at BrokerIPTV.com.